Welcome back. This is Pete Gallivan live at the Buffalo and Erie County Naval and Military Park where we are recognizing Veterans Day. Of course, the official holiday was yesterday, also known as Armistice Day. And here at the park, they had just an incredible weekend. Four new names added to the Wall of Honor on Saturday and just a great weekend to honor the veterans and their accomplishments and their sacrifice. But Joshua Robinson joins me and he's uh, celebrating a, a tremendous milestone for one veteran as well. Yeah, Tony Wilson, 93-year-old Tony Wilson. I had a chance to meet him. He's from Portville, which is in Cattaraugus County. And he's really one of those stories where he actually got to celebrate something this year. This Veterans Day, very special for him because he got something that a lot of us take for granted and it's something he thought would never come. Dating back to the mid-1930s, a young Tony Wilson spent his days dreaming of being out on the sea. We filled out a form one day in school. In the fourth grade or fifth grade, I put down sailor on mine. I wanted to be on the water. And in 1943, a 17-year-old Tony walked out of his Portville classroom and hitchhiked to Olean to try and enlist. Maybe a recruiter wouldn't talk to me in Olean. He said, get out of here, don't bother me. He wouldn't even talk to me. So I told him where to go. But it was a bus trip to Buffalo that would find him enlisting with the Coast Guard, where he served for three years. They treated me like a kid. Some of them were guys that had been in the service 30 years. I wasn't 30 years old yet. And during his service, Tony would tie the knot with his childhood friend, Myrtle. And they all knew he was getting married that weekend. So 2,000 guys are getting off a ship. They shoved him to the front of the line so he could get his paycheck and leave to go get married. Soon after, Tony and Myrtle would settle down and start their family with two sons and two daughters. But there's one thing Tony missed out on when he left that high school classroom. Tony never graduated. Sure, he got his GED, but no high school diploma. That is, until Tony's family found out about Operation Recognition, a New York State program that makes some veterans eligible to earn their diplomas. So we sent in the form to get my dad on, and there's a committee that selects, and they selected him. And now it was just a matter of when. This past September, Tony was selected to join Portville Central School's Athletic Hall of Fame. Little did he know he'd be receiving two awards that night. I was shocked. When I came to pull him off the court, I said, Dad, you're a PCS graduate now. And he said, I'm crying. And I said, but so is the entire gym. So what exactly do you get for a 93-year-old high school graduate during his own graduation party? For this veteran, it's something most high school graduates can't have. Well, I went down to Legion, I had a beer. Several. And of course, thanks to the school's National Honor Society, now there's an, uh, a program called Hometown Heroes where Tony and a lot of other veterans from Portville actually have banners of their faces put up along Main Street, so oh, it gives cool. everyone a chance to celebrate every day of the year, not just Veterans Day, every day. And Tony, you earned every one of those beers you had to celebrate. Oh, yeah. He had several. It, it just hits home <laughs> that these kids were so young mm. when they left to serve our country. And that's what today is all about, remembering the veterans who have served and continue to serve.